Well, boys, YouTube canceled me, so we can only get half a gallon. I don't, I don't, I don't really know what to do with that, but uh, it, it happens from time to time. Times are rough, man. So if you guys want to, I'd much appreciate it. We're trying to get to 100K subscribers this year for 2023, and uh, hopefully, if we get to 100K subscribers, it's free for you to do that. But it helps me out be able to pay for more than just half a gallon of fuel, which is two dollars. That's all I could afford. So, with that being said, hit that subscribe button, like, and comment. I appreciate it. This is why you get a fuel system on your truck. Who else gets this? Oh yeah, she's ready for another upgrade. Get another upgrade on her. Get this turd out of the shop, and we'll be good to go. We just put a nice air dog fuel system on that truck there. It's running great, no leaks, no nothing. Absolutely filthy. Now we've got this thing to get in the shop so I can tear it apart and get the fast fuel system put installed. Now again, I'm not biased to any companies. AirDog is a very good company. I like them. They're super nice people. They hit me up about my dad's 4G and we got it going for the 4G. Now they have pumps for, of course, the Illumina duties and whatnot. Like there's nothing wrong with their pumps. I just ended up having fast fuel systems hit me up about my Illumina duty and wanting to work with me. And again, I'm not biased to any companies. I'm sure they're both very, very, very good lift pumps. Um, I know they're competitors, but again, at the same time, it's like, it's a truck community and everybody runs something different. I think it's a good way on my channel to compare the two. I know they're completely two different vehicles, but at the same time, it's like, it wouldn't be a bad idea to kind of compare on how they're both built with some of the lines they use, some of the instruction manuals, just everything all in all, just to kind of see how that all plays a toll on it all. So we're gonna compare the two, even though, like I said, they're two completely different vehicles and the way they are installed is completely different, but it still doesn't change how the instruction manual is built and some of the parts that go with it. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of compare on those two. But again, it's not bashing fast nor air dog, they're both very, very well good known companies. And of course, they're both very, very well known and very quality products. So again, just wanted to let you all know that. I'm not getting paid to say great stuff about neither one of them. You're getting my 100% feedback, as I've always been, the most straightforward person you're gonna meet and I don't bullshit you. I got money, ain't it changed? I got girls, ain't strange. Not to mention, I don't do the tension. When I'm in your ends, I be you the entrance. And I don't need no guest list when I pull up to the palace. Smoking every room, yeah, we smoking on the chalice. Red cup and we okay. Red cup and we low key. All right, so we've got the fuse relay sitting right there, nice and out of the way. And you've got two wires that go to that battery. And then you've got two wires that come over here. This harness here is going to go back to the fuel pump itself, the lift pump. And then you had a tap in for a fuse tap to go into here for an accessory on and engine on uh, fuse. I already had one in there for my air compressor, my onboard air that I have on here for my load lifters. So I just ended up tying that back into the fuel pump because that's not running all the time. So it's not going to put a heavy load on that fuse. All right, so we got the skid plate off the fuel tank. We got the truck up on jack stands. The wiring's already ran down to where the pump's gonna be at. We gotta drop this fuel tank and get the fuel sending unit modified for the fast fuel system. Well, we got the fuel tank out. That was a pain in the ass. And now we've gotta disassemble this entire thing. We gotta take all these hoses off. Gotta be kidding. All of these hundreds of millions, not one of these women's is smitten. Nah. All of the blunt the feeling, they know that they're gonna get it in a minute. a minute. But if they can't really cool out, cool out, it's so it chilling. Yeah, I feel young. I'm young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Come and meet me at the park We can start something fun late after dark Swimming in the water, girl, and there's a lot of sharks Jump into my boat, yeah, I help you stay afloat, yeah I ain't had a smoke, yeah, no, I'm not joking Roll up in your party, and yeah, you know I'm always loaded Whole house like a club thing, whole house like a party, though If you 
got the camera out there, do look like some Mardi Gras. Red cup, but we okay. Red cup, and we located the back room where they do things. Whole click on them new things. Nobody rocking with the mood swings. Nobody rocking with them rude things. Yeah, I'ma have to let the two sing. Little update, little update. Um, besides the fact that I'm absolutely filthy and I've cut my hand probably about 15 times, busted my knuckles a couple times, and I've definitely cursed at this truck, and it might be going to the scrapyard because, Jesus, Ford, fix your dang fuel, t your fuel tank bolts that hold it in. Tab broke. I mean, it's like a, like a quarter inch of like aluminum on either side of this like tab. It's a bolt that goes in, it's a nut that's inside the frame. It, uh, anyways, go ahead and look at it if you have one. They're junk. They snap off, and then you've got to cut the bolt because it won't work. It's just seized up. Anyways, uh, so we got the fuel sending unit all modified and put back in. All the fuel lines hooked back up on the fuel tank. The fuel tank's fixing to go up into the truck again. I had to get rid of a little bit more weight. We don't got to talk about that. Um, and then I guess the rest is going to be on the outside once we get that... Uh, then fuel lines ran across to where the fast fuel system would be mounted on the frame. But anywho, let's get this tank back up in there so we can stop messing around with it. But yeah, Ugh, this shit sucks, man. We've got a lot of stuff to do still. So let's get this thing installed. Yeah, oh shit. I know what the problem is. It ain't got no gas in it. Ah! Bang, bada boom, bada bing. We're gonna have the sun beige running and on all four wheels and tires. And probably about an hour and a half, but for you guys, probably about two minutes. Cause editing is one wonderful thing. Alrighty, so bear with me here. So, I am a bit disappointed. Fast fuel systems, the way they want you to run your feed line is there's a little intermediate section of fuel line, factory fuel line, that hooks up to the fuel line that goes on the frame, and then it has, like I said, an intermediate section that goes from the frame over to the top of the fuel sending unit. Would be this one, right? It's up there just like this. Or no, I lied. It runs up there just like this because this one did go straight down. So for you in order to run the fast fuel line, you'd have to twist this and bend it going back this way so it can go so it can go straight across to the fast fuel system, right? But you're running into all of these mounts and cross members and whatnot, kinking this line and everything. They give you enough blue hose already. What they wanted you to do was put this on that hose and then plug this into the factory fuel line. What they need to do, get rid of this. Get rid of the, the male side and put a female side here. You grab a female side, quick connect. You put this into the hose, get rid of this line and put it right here on the freaking frame makes it way easier way nicer you're not twisting around a plastic preformed line and kinking it it's not rubbing up against the cross member and underneath the bed and underneath the cab change the male fitting to a female fitting and get rid of that intermediate line that's all i have to say other than that solid kit thank you Back to the install. Alrighty, so we got the entire fast fuel system installed. Everything bolted back up. Let's get this thing started. Finally got it started up. I had a prime fuel system, the filters and all that. That was a that was my fault. I probably should have filled the fuel filters up with fuel. Uh, one I just installed, didn't have to, but this one here, I guess it's a little bit more particular on that. 
and I probably should have done that. Oh, probably gonna get some seven brew. I'm needing some seven brew right about now. Seems like there's no more leak. There's two lines that were leaking on the pump itself. I guess I'm just a little nervous on tightening them down too much just because I don't want to crack that pump housing or better safe than sorry. I put another half a turn on each fitting and it's all good to go now, but let's uh get her going down the road. I'll probably get 30 miles a gallon now. And it's fast, so be moving pretty fast. Cop pulls me over. I'm sorry, officer. I, I just got a fast fuel system on here, and I, I can't slow down. It's just too fast. For me. Park there. You can't park there, sir!